Today's video is going to teach you how to be better at defense in Madden NFL 16. What's up guys, my name is Cody. I like to make Madden 16 videos and post them on the internet. Today's video, what we're going to be taking a look at is a tip on the defensive side of the ball that's really going to help you uh, cover and, and be just overall better in Madden NFL 16. Uh, so what we want to do is we're going to talk uh, from a, seri uh, a new series that I want to bring to my channel. Uh, and this series is all about user skill. It's going to teach you how to develop user skill, what user skill is, and also uh, how you can uh, you know do some different things to make your user skill uh, really just take off. Um, so with that in mind, I want to go ahead and get into this. Um, user skill is just like any other skill; it takes time to develop. Um, it, it, it is a skill, and it is a very essential skill to be good in this year's game uh, or in any year, man. So this video, this video series is really important. But uh, what we want to do. First is we want to talk about introduction, and the first thing that we're going to focus on is what zone do you want your uh, user player, or, or excuse me, what player do you want to use, or what type of player should you look for to user? And that's really at the heart of this video. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through a standard depth chart, just a standard depth chart, and try to find uh, a, a player worth usering. Uh, we're going to use the Oakland Raiders for this video. The Raiders are known to have Madden gems, guys who are really just really effective um, year to year in this game. So hopping into the defensive side of the ball, and, and like I said, user covering is for defense specifically. And uh, what we want to do is we want to target uh, two things. For me, what I like to target is catching and speed uh, and acceleration I'm sorry three things catching speed and acceleration those are the three things that you want to target uh, for your user player now fourth thing and a little bonus thing that if you can get it you can it's really effective is hip power hip power is always important to have on the field sometimes those guys with better hip power aren't necessarily the uh, fastest guys or the best covering guys or the most aware guys but when we use them it's going to make them much more valid uh, and much more able to be usered on our defense and actually make them much more of a component of the defense now first of all for beginners out here i'm going to break down two different types i'm going to break down first a linebacker secondly i'm going to break down a safety uh, the raiders i'm going to break down both of them from the raiders today what i recommend is if you're if you're a beginner uh, i would recommend using the uh, the linebacker um, because you're you're not going to give up as much normally linebackers are in hook zones or flat zones and uh, if you get beat you're not going to if you're not going to give up as much um, as if you were maybe using a safety who's in a deep third and if you blow a coverage they could potentially hit you over the top for six um, me being someone that gets burned a lot uh, using the safety, I do know how frustrating it is to get burnt. And so I want to give you two options. You can either use a linebacker or a safety. Get off the defensive line. It's 2016. It's time to start using, um, you know, middle linebackers and safeties. All right, so the first thing we want to do, what I like to do, is just start out. I just like to sort my players by uh, uh, by speed. Um, so what I want to do here is just clear out anybody that could potentially be an option here. We'll take Alden Smith and clear him out. Or actually, we 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 can't make changes. We'll use Dow. Or we'll use. Or we'll just we'll just show. So Malcolm Smith. Malcolm Smith. First of all, is our fastest player. Um, and then this guy Heaney is also pretty fast at 86 speed. We'll go through and we'll see that those are the two fastest players we have at linebacker at the linebacker position. Now let's check their acceleration rate, and you see that Heaney has a little more acceleration than Malcolm Smith does. He has 88 acceleration as opposed to Smith's 86 acceleration. Okay. So with that in mind, we invite you to consider the fact that Heaney and Smith are the same in speed because Heaney's acceleration is two points higher than Smith, while Smith's speed is two points more higher than Heaney. So right now they're pretty even. The next thing we want to check is catching and we see that Malcolm Smith is three points higher in catching at 71 while 68 is still pretty good for a linebacker. 71 is a really elite uh, level of catch rating. So those are the first uh, the th three ratings that really matter and now look at the one that finally matters and that's hip power. We see that Malcolm Smith is three points higher in hip power at 73 or excuse me, at 76, and Heaney has 73. Now, this is what's really going to matter for your defense. Overall, with all things being equal, Malcolm Smith is the user player we'd want to go with in this situation. But when we look at the zone coverage rating of Malcolm Smith, we're going to see that he has 74 zone coverage, and Heaney only has 65. With this in mind, what I invite you to do is maybe play Malcolm Smith at a different position, uh, i.e. left outside linebacker or right outside linebacker, and then user uh, Mr. Ben Henney here, because he only has 65 zone coverage. But in theory, if you're using him, his zone coverage really won't matter because you're going to be making the decisions for him and you're still going to be able to take advantage of Malcolm Smith's 74 zone coverage. So with that in mind, I would use Heaney, but all things being equal, Malcolm Smith would be a better user player, but those are the things you really want to look for when picking a user player from the linebacker spot. 
Now I want to transition to safeties and what you want to look for uh, in that. First of all, we want to notice speed. Now most safeties uh, are going to have you know 88 speed is what we're looking for here. Pretty much eight, uh, any speed rating from like 88 to like 92. Those are kind of like our uh, really big time. That's what we really want to get when we're talking safety user players. And so we see that um, we see that the Raiders have a couple of guys here. They got Taylor Mays at 88 speed. Keith McGill at 88 speed, um, Carey at 91 speed, Hayden at 90 speed, uh, Chekwa at 90 speed, and then these guys down here uh, at 91 and 91. Next thing we notice is that um, both of them have really good acceleration at 90 and 91. We also note that um, uh, McGill only has 88 acceleration. Taylor Mays actually has the highest acceleration rating out of all of these players. What you're going to see here is he has 94 acceleration, and so with that 94 acceleration, that's going to bump his speed rating. What I like to do is average them. So what I like to do is just go on to my calculator on my iPhone, or uh, or if you just try to go on your computer and just average them out. So 94 plus 88, and then we're going to divide that by two. And what you're going to see is that's going to come out to a 91 uh, basic speed rating. Um, okay, and then for a guy like Keith McGill. He has 88 speed and 88 excel, so that's going to average out to be a perfect 88 speed rating. For a guy like, um, or maybe for a guy like Nico Thorpe, what you're going to see here is um, Nico Thorpe at 91 plus 90. Divide that by two to get the average. He's at a 90.5 speed, and then uh, obviously McDonald with 91 speed, 91 excel. He's going to be at a 91 overall. So our two fastest guys for this team is Taylor Mays and Dexter McDonald. Those are the two fastest guys. Now we want to look at all of the other stats that matter when it regards to user to user play. First and foremost being catching. Second being hit power. I do believe hit power does have some weight, although I didn't make it my top three. I still think that it is important. I kind of put acceleration and speed together. As I said, I like to average them out to see what really, you know, how fast they really are because Quickness and speed are two different things. Um, so what you note here is that Taylor Mays catching kind of blows at 50, or 49 catch. Um, and what you're going to see is Dexter McDonald has 60 catching. Uh, another thing is interesting is Charles Woodson has 73 catching and Nate Allen has 71 catching. So that's something interesting to note. And then finally, but, but we also know that 60 catching is really not that good either. Um, Really, the threshold is like if they have over 70, that's probably considered good defensively. But if they have anything below 70, they're really not that great as far as catching goes. Um, you know, normally what I like to look for is about 70 and up. Another thing we see is that Taylor Mays actually has 70 spectacular catching, whereas McDonald has 50. And again, we kind of average those out. Spectacular catching this year is actually a really important trait to have. And so 70 plus 50, um, and, and we'll just we could average this out. And what we're going to find is that Taylor Mays actually has a higher catch rating than Dexter McDonald when you consider both of those factors. And then finally, when we look at the hit power, we're going to see that Taylor Mays has 86 hit power. It's actually the highest on the team. And uh, for that reason alone, we're going to make Taylor Mays our user player for the Oakland Raiders. All right, so there's uh, a little bit of what I wanted to talk about uh, in, in today's video. Now, uh, what you want to also do um, with this, and this is going to lead into the next section uh, of what we have to talk about. But when you're setting your your plays up, so if I'm running maybe the nickel three through five, I'm not going to want to. I'm going to want to put Taylor Mays in whatever position I'm going to be using. Um, and the same thing with Heaney. So when I'm running the three through five, I like to use the middle linebacker. So I want to make sure that Ben Heaney is in that spot because he's the user player I've selected. I don't want to put Ben Heaney at a spot that I'm not going to be wanting to use her. Uh, you know, I'm not going to want to put Ben Heaney at the right outside linebacker um, if I'm if I'm going to use her the middle linebacker most of the time. And the same thing with Taylor Mays. You want to put him at the safety spot that you're going to user. Most frequently in the nickel 35, I use her this left outside safety here. So I'm going to sub Taylor Mays in, and what you're going to see is when I come out and a play like cover three sky drop, it's going to put Taylor Mays in an optimum position uh, to be user controlled. What you're going to see here is that Taylor Mays is now at the top of the screen. Now I can bring him down and make a lot of user plays with him and uh, and make adjustments. Okay, guys? So, um, but anyways, guys, that's a little bit of insight into how we like to select our user player. Uh, and it's a nice introduction into the series, User Covering 101, where we're going to break down everything you need to know um, on how to user cover. We're going to do one video a week on that uh, in combination with all the other content we already offer on 
our uh, on our uh, YouTube channel. So uh, with that in mind, guys, I invite you uh, to, to to start this journey with me and make sure that you come back every week. I would also recommend to check out the other videos on the channel. They're going to give you a lot of different plays and things like that that you can utilize uh, to really make this user covering series uh, worth it. Worth it. And uh, and then lastly, what I would invite you guys to do is check out the description. You're going to find that I have a defensive ebook for sale down there. The defensive ebook is going to equip you with all the plays needed to not only take your defense to the next level in the aspect of play calling, but it's also going to take your defense to the next level with this new user covering series that we're doing. It's really going to add a lot of value to you at the end of the day, and I would just uh, really encourage you to check that out. So make sure you check the description. We have our New England Patriots defensive guide up. You can check that out. Like I said, it's the best defense by far that I've found this year as far as universal setups and, and really, really solid uh, defensive philosophies discussed in that guide. So make sure you check that guide out. The